papers. Brian, when, the, when, when John goes down and Mikey comes in, what was the kind of the mood in the offense, and, and, and what did Mikey do to kind of maybe get everyone kind of calmed down once he came in the game? Yeah, well, it was unfortunate JR went down, but like like you said, next man up, we always got that we always got that mentality. You know, Mikey's you know he's always waiting for his chance. He's been grinding all year, so you know when he finally got his opportunity, he cashed in. Right, just tell us about Mikey. We haven't seen him since last year's bowl game. He was completing passes, moving you guys up and down the field. Just, just talk about how clutch of a performance that is for a guy who hasn't played in a long time. Yeah, my, my, Mikey's a vet now. I mean, he played last year. He, he won us a whole bunch of games last year. So, uh, but like I said, it was the next man up. Mikey came in, did his thing. You know, we just had to rally behind him and, you know, just, just make plays for him. Take us into the huddle, though. You guys are behind there with a couple minutes to go. What does Mikey say, and what's the mentality of the team on that drive? Uh, we weren't going to lose the game. I'm not going to lie we, we, we came into that game like that. Coach Gus said it's going to be a fist fight, be ready for it to come down to the end. It might come down to the last play. So, you know, we always had that mentality. And when we got the opportunity, we told the defense we're going to go cash in. I don't even worry about it. Always. As far as there was a lot of momentum shifts in the game, in your mind, Ryan, what was the thing that got the offense going tonight? I feel like just our hard work, we're a bunch of dogs, you know, and then that's, especially at the last one, we're trying to just show the, show the world that, we're, you know, we're still a really good team, and, you know, we're still we're still capable of winning this championship. Anything else? Yeah, and just talk about just the, the atmosphere, the moment, uh, you know, winning in the last minute. I mean, how did this whole experience feel? How did someone rank for you? Yeah, I mean, it was a it was a great moment. I mean, I know I dream, you dream about this as a kid, you know, these type of games, you know, this is what you come here to play for. So, you know, just to actually live out that, that, that opportunity, was, it was a dream for sure. How much talk was there about just beating Cincinnati? They were back-to-back -back conference champs. They beat you guys pretty good last year. Yeah. I mean, you guys really hadn't been fired up to win this one. Yeah, I mean, like, it was really a get-back game, you know. Like, especially after last year, we had to show, we had to show them and the world that, you know, we're still here, like I said. You know, we're still coming, we're still going for that championship, you know, it's in our sight now. Do you think this show in UCF, this is the best in this league? Yeah, most definitely. You know, I feel like I feel like we got a, we got the best team. You know, we just we just gotta come together and play game in and game out. It's not gonna be easy. We're gonna have to work for it, but you know that's what we came here to do. Mikey's a close friend of yours. How happy are you for him to have a game like this? Yeah, I mean it's unbelievable. Just you know, just him coming in, especially not playing all year and coming in and helping us be the ranked team. I'm so happy for him. I'm excited for him. And I just can't wait to see what what the team do. And what did you see from him during the season? You said he's continued to work hard. Yeah, he shows up each and every day with a smile on his face. He's still a leader on this team. You know, he pushes guys. You know, and like I said, he's just waiting for the opportunity to come in, and he cashed in today. Tell us what that locker room was like. Yeah, you know, it, it was definitely fun after the game. You know, Coach Gus said jukebox. Um, that was the first time I heard jukebox in a little minute because, you know, we call him speaker. But, you know, it was, it was, good. It was a good atmosphere, and it was, it was fun for sure. I'm Ryan, right here, uh, Robert Cobb from Describer Magazine. Question, you definitely had a very good game, both on the air and the ground. And concerning what you just said about beating Cincinnati after losing to him last year, um, would you say you got a little bit more extra juice because of the developing rivalry between um, the two programs and also you guys going to the Big 12 next year? Most definitely. Like, that, that's a really good team. They're one of the best teams in the country. We, we all know that. But, you know, I feel like we're just as good as them. And, you know, we came out and proved that today. That's great. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate it.